What is eBay's global shipping program and should you or shouldn't you do it? Hey, it's Don. Today we're going to talk about eBay's global shipping program and we'll discuss the pros and cons of it for you and your store. Now, eBay's global shipping program is a way that folks from other countries can purchase from the U.S. eBay site without having to worry about import fees or anything else. eBay takes full responsibility of the item once it reaches eBay's facility. Now, what is eBay's global shipping program? It's an option that you can add to your listings. Maybe not to every single listing, but the majority of items on eBay are accessible for the eBay global shipping program. Basically, let's say someone from Germany wants to buy from you and you don't directly ship to them, but you allow it to go through eBay's global shipping program. They will purchase that item from your store, just like a normal person, and then eBay will tack on extra fees and stuff for it so it can be sent to them from eBay as opposed to you. You will wrap the item up and send it to Kentucky. Most everyone that I see goes to a facility eBay runs in Kentucky. They basically reopen your box and they will ship it to another country through their services. They'll take care of the fees and everything else. And then that the buyer will get it shipped to their country like it's a normal item shipped directly to them. There are some things that go along with the global shipping program and why some people use it, including us. Once the item reaches eBay's shipping facility in Kentucky and they accept it, it shows delivered and there's no complaints about damages or anything, I am free and clear of anything that happens while it's in transit from Kentucky to the other country that the item's going to. If it's lost, damaged, destroyed, and shipment, eBay covers the full cost of it to the buyer. You are not out a dime in those cases. Now, if it's not as described or something like that, that would be a different story. But if it's damaged, destroyed, or anything like that, it's eBay's responsibility. If they complain about the shipping time or anything else like that, again, it is eBay's responsibility. Now, for the seller as well, it won't cost me an extra dime to do it this way. There are some drawbacks. I cannot combine items into one shipment through eBay's global shipping program. So if someone does want to buy multiple items from you through eBay's global shipping program, they cannot combine them at all. It will charge them an increased fee for each individual item that they are shipping. Now, there are some options and ways around that. You can cancel the listings relist them all together in one big listing, and then the buyer can repurchase them through the program as well. That's really the only honest legal way that I can see to combine the items together. If you just build them for one and then just throw the other items in there, they are not in the import-export form, so you would be violating a law by not declaring items going out of the country. So always be safe with issues like that. So now let's talk about the buyer's experience from this. First off, it's way more expensive than if they bought it straight from you. They will have to pay for it to be shipped twice. First, you'll have to pay to have it shipped to the Kentucky facility that eBay runs, and then you would have to be paid to be shipped overseas. There's also fees, import VAT, and things like that, import-export taxes, basically, that they would also have to pay that are worked into this. Plus, eBay charges, obviously, for their service of handling and doing this. So it's going to cost the buyer a lot more. Certain items I don't ship out of the country through me directly. Anything under four pounds I do because it can go first class international. We also only ship to specific countries. There's a handful of them because we've had issues with other countries and I don't want to lose or risk any of our funds and have the item lost and still have to refund somebody. So that's really reasons why people ship this way, even though it does cost the buyer more money. It's safer for the seller. Now, there's other things that the buyer has to deal with. The biggest complaint I see is that the folks in Kentucky who are opening up the packages use a razor blade to open these boxes up that we send over to them. The items are repacked, so they're opening them up with the razor blade. In many cases, I see complaints that there's damage to the packaging. If you're sending a vintage collectible item, many times I hear that there's slash marks ruining the packaging to those items. You can even look here on YouTube, and there'll be many people from Europe and other countries saying the exact same thing. 
Other issues that can show up is the item can be dinged or damaged in shipment because in many cases they may remove the security wrapping, the paper wrapping, bubble wrap, and things like that that you may have wrapped around the item to secure it and just thrown it in a box with a bunch of other things. It's similar to how Amazon does shipments sometimes too. So for the buyer, it's not always a good experience. Again, you're free and clear if something like that happens, but you also have to take in consideration that you won't get that person back buying from you again if they have a bad experience because of how eBay's facility handled the items. Now, I'm not sure if it's eBay employees specifically or eBay has leased out a building and some other services handling that aspect of it. Who's ever doing it, apparently there's a very high rate of damaged items from slashed razor blade issues to those packages. Again, NOS items, vintage collectible items like a, a sealed action figure in a box, I would hate to have it slashed by a razor blade just because it's rewrapped by eBay. Now, one of the biggest reasons that I see that most people do use eBay's global shipping program is that they are covered if it's a high dollar item. If I sell a three or $4,000 record to another country, England, for example, which is where a lot of them go, I have two basic options. I can send it registered, which only covers insurance for a certain amount of money, and then risk the rest of it, or I can use eBay's global shipping program. With eBay's global shipping program, if it gets to eBay Center, and again, I can cover the insurance from here to Kentucky. Now, once eBay acknowledges its receipt and it's forwarded on and continues its travels to England or wherever it may be going, I am free and clear. So if that item is damaged in transport or anything else, again, I'm covered. So that is one reason why people do send and use eBay's global shipping program as a seller. Now, what I do see from eBay's global shipping program is there's less people using it these days because of such issues handling it, you know, damages to the packaging and stuff. Now, most of the vintage figures and things like that, you can send first class and international and not have too much trouble with. So whether it's worth it to you or not, it's going to be up to what you're selling, your store, your thoughts, and your philosophy on shipping. Many people ship internationally everywhere and don't worry about anything else like that. Many don't have issues at all. Some people have had issues like us to certain countries, so we have limited where we send directly to. We do ship directly to some countries. We ship to England, France, Germany, Sweden, Switzerland, um, Italy, Japan, uh, Australia, Canada, and Mexico. Those are the countries I ship directly to using First Class International, up to four pounds. Anything over four pounds is sent global shipping. Anything to another country that I didn't mention is as well sent to global shipping. It, it just depends on your thoughts, your philosophies, whether you've been ripped off or had issues or not. Again, the countries that I named, I've never had an issue with shipping. Even items costing $4,000 or better, we send records to England quite often. The Northern Seoul are very popular over there. So use your best judgment. Always wrap the item the best as possible. In some cases, maybe eBay doesn't have to open every package. So wrapping it the best you can is always your safest bet. As long as it gets to eBay, at least you are covered. Now, the only other drawback using eBay's global shipping program is for a return. You always have the option just to let them keep it. But if it's a high dollar item, you may want that item back. And it's going to cost you to send it back if the item wasn't as described. That is one drawback to doing the eBay global shipping program. If you're shipping overseas, though, you could have that issue no matter what. So they can just send it back the normal way without using eBay's global shipping program to return the item. But you still will be responsible for items not as described. So always keep that in mind when you're doing any overseas shipments in general. Now, a lot of people just don't like to ship overseas in general. Now, I personally would never recommend that. We do, as I said, offer the global shipping program and ship directly to those countries that I stated earlier as well and don't have issues. It does increase our sales. We are top rated plus across the entire globe, which means that we have to sell a certain amount of money to each one of those spots globally to qualify to begin with. So again, it is well worth the thousands and thousands of extra dollars that we do garner from sales to overseas. I would always recommend overseas. Just be cautious on how you ship. Test the waters out first. 
ship a few limited items to begin with just to see how the process works to make sure that you are happy as well as your buyers are happy. But that's what I have for you today. Hopefully that gave you some ideas, some thoughts. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button down below. You can also hit the bell icon to be notified if I post new content or go live. Subscribe and tell all your friends. If you want to buy a phone, it's cheaper than AT&T. What you really need is cheap long distance. And of course, our business systems are cheaper than AT&T. You won't get anything this cheap from AT&T. Everyone's saying they're cheaper than AT&T, but nobody's saying they're better. All they can say is that they're cheaper, to which we say, you get what you pay for.